In this video, I'm going to work through number three in the 4.2c lesson. First off, we're going to write a note that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We're going to take the equation and simply set it up with a sign change. Make sure we don't forget the minus 10. Draw on a boundary line. If I go too fast for this, feel free to pause or rewind the video. Next, I'm going to distribute. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. 6 times y is 6y. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 plus negative 10. Next step is we notice that these terms on the right side are like terms. So we are going to combine them. Negative 6 plus negative 10 is negative 16. And now we can start to look for, there is our y, which means our goal is to move everything to the left. And we can tell that in the last step, we are going to divide by 6 because that's the coefficient of y. We'll start by adding the opposite of negative 16, which is positive 16. And the last step is all of the terms need to be divided by 6. We simplify negative 4 sixths into negative 2 thirds plus 2 equals y. And it is needed to rewrite this in the exact y equals mx plus b form. And then we can say the slope is negative two thirds without the x and b is two or zero comma two. Next, we're gonna use this to fill out our table. We have negative two thirds x plus two. We might even start our ordered pairs, which is this one's gonna be negative three comma something, six comma something, and nine comma something. We're gonna plug in negative three over one. As we think about this, and again, if I'm going too fast for here, please pause the video. I know it's gonna have a plus two. I know that a negative times a negative is gonna be a positive, and I'm going to cancel, and we know it's positive, also because it's negative two times negative one, which is two. And it isn't a bad idea to plot these as you go. So we have negative three, four. We also have our y-intercept, which is at zero, two. We can plot that one as well. I'm gonna go back to our table, and this time we're gonna use six over one. This time I know it's going to be a negative, and I'm going to cross cancel. Each one gets divided by three, and two times two is four, and it's negative, and negative four plus two is negative two. We know we're on the right track as we graph these. Uh, they're lining up. And the last one, I challenge you to pause the video right now, try it, and then check it. And also, feel free to rewind or pause the video if I went too fast through negative 3 and 6. So go ahead and pause the video right now and try 9. And there's our line, we'll graph it. And it came out to be negative four, and we can see that we did everything correct. 